Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to a new Pokemon TCG unboxing. Today, we finally got the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. This is a big boy. Uh, on the back, it shows you what we, what we can get. You know, we got a bunch of packs open, three promo cards, a player mat. The promo cards are right here. Beautiful. I cannot wait to open this. Let me get my handy dandy uh, box cutter. And we'll rip into this. This beauty. So... Pull this out, and you can see all 151 Pokemon, I believe. And then, oh, okay. So, so I have one box. I have the Sword and Shield Premium box. Oh, and it felt a lot more premium than this. This kind of just feels like a box, and they put stuff into it. The other ones had drawers and metal coins and a metal dice. So let's open this bad boy up. And as you can see, we got the promo cards up top. We got the promo cards right there. Mew Mew and Mew 2. That looks like a sick card. Then down below. And everything is pretty organized inside of there. It doesn't look like anything could have got damaged. So that's nice. So let's, uh, okay, cool. These slide out. Here's the Mew promo card. Oh, that's nice. This isn't as rare as the Japanese one. Oh, well, can't look at the back. But for a promo card, that's pretty good. All mine, if you see the previous episodes, they're all bent. And it's so unfortunate. This Mewtwo, same way. Pretty straight. If you, yeah, like my Snorlax ETVs and my Charmander ones, they are oof. How do I, how do I get this one out? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this, it's a metal card. It feels good. It looks good. I wonder if anyone would get this graded. How would you grade a metal card? I mean, I don't think it would do well because up there, I don't know if you can tell. You can see the metal, but that's cool. That is a nice card. The Zashi and Zamazento one only had gold cards. So let's go inside of here. Oh, we got a player box. We got a player box. We got this big jumbo Mew coin. The usual poison and stuff. But they're plastic. That's kind of... I like how they sit in there, but they're plastic. One thing I can say is... Good job. The dice is different. It's not the basic one, but there's no big EX coin, so they kind of fumbled that too. And then, and then the player box. So hold your cards for your, your du 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 duels. If you choose to do that. And then we got a. Maybe this is a player mat. If I can open it. just the it's a pretty big player mat or it's a mouse pad this could be used as a mouse pad if i didn't already have a wireless charger mouse pad i wouldn't mind using this as one that's pretty cool a um, little mew mouse pad and then all we got is what we wanted the packs Packs on packs on packs. Put that in the little background right there. Yeah. 
That is a lot of packs. What was that? Two, four, six, eight, sixteen packs? Two, four, two, four, six, eight, yep, sixteen, if I can do math right. And we got these. Oh man. I am looking forward to every bit of it. Hopefully, we can pull the chase cards. Hopefully, I'm hoping for one god pack. Just one. Not too much to ask for, right? But let's get started. We're going to open our first one from this ultra premium collection box. This was a this was a good amount of money too, which was a big oof, but I knew what I was getting myself into. So we have Farfetch, Old Amber, Pidgeotto, Magmar, Scyther, Vermilion, Parasect, Bulbasaur. Oh, what? Really? Really? You doing this to me? You could guard if you want it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, let's have a... Uh, let's have these in the background. Because, like, why not, right? Have them enjoy this unboxing of their friends. Seeing what we can get in here. Oh. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Shoulder. Bell sprout. Horsey. Need a ring. Yeah. Right horn. Second turn. Ridge band. Abra. Pidgeotto. And a ditto. Oh, but we got the hollow leaf. Okay. I think that's my first time getting that hollow leaf. Could be wrong. We got the next one. Now this one feels hefty. This one feels like a hefty boy. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. We got Giovanni's charisma. Hopefully his charisma is enough to pull something. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, our first card is a blast toys that is nice we got the first one that is the first one Let's see hopefully we can get something else i'm pretty hyped about that one uh how am i opening this one that one felt like a heavier pack that one just had some weight to it that was nice and then on to the next pack and see if we can get lucky. I am hoping for, I think I have the Squirtle one already. So I'd like to have the War Turtle. And we got a Golem EX. We pulled that before. No, oh, hype that I have it. Don't get me wrong. But it is a card that we already have. That Blastoise EX though. Ooh, nice suit, nice suit. I'd love to get it graded. I would, I want to get this Charmander Squirtle. Char Wait, the Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. I'd like to have the whole set. And then I would like to grade them too. Not to sell them or anything, but just to have them because they're really cool. I would like to preserve them. I wish I had that mindset when I was younger, but younger was elementary school and whatnot. Would not have gone well. If I would have saved my cards, who knows? But that's everyone's thinking, right? If only I saved my Pokemon cards from back when I was a kid, I could be rich. I wouldn't have to work my nine to five. Boom. Bioplume. I think that's my first. Another leaf energy. So I am trying to do a master set with this one. Not with ho not with hollows and all of them. We just have one card of each. And that 
and a 151 binder. Oh, this one feels kind of heavy. This one has some some fuel to it. I feel good about this one. But as I was saying, I have the 151 binder, and I'm trying to fill it out with the cards. Oh, nope. And, oh! So we did have something. Come on, focus. Focus. Nice. We got a Mew EX. That's a nice glitter. Is this the 151? This is the 151. The one I got before was not 151. That's 151. Good enough. Next pack. We got the Rattatata, we got the Squirtle, we got the Lickitung, Venonat, Gloom, Clefable, Dugtrio, Persian, boom, boom. I don't think I've pulled a Jolteon card. Have I pulled a Jolteon card? I'm not sure. I have Vaporeon, I have Flareon, but I'm unsure if I have a Jolteon card. I do have Jolteon from uh, Evolving Skies, but I don't think I got it from 151 yet. I need it to co complete the collection. Is there a card behind that one? No. Need a ring. Dodrio. But we got the hollow eyeball. Got the hollow eyeball. Alright. All right, next one. And uh, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Any of you counts and I'm just happy uh, someone's interested in what I pull. And you know, while you're at it and you're watching this video, while you're at it, why don't you, uh, there it is. We got the war turtle. Hey. We got the war turtle. Yep, sorry, Golem. Nice. Now I have that whole set. I'm probably going to get it graded. And then I, in the binder, I'm going to have them on top of each other so that their artwork is connecting. Oh, let's get this out of the way. That's awesome. I'm so glad. But as I was saying, uh, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Any type of comment, like, uh, what's your favorite Pokemon in the 151? Mine is Snorlax. I love Snorlax. Snorlax is my all-time favorite 151 Pokemon. I need to use a pretty cool Legendary in it. Um... Jolteon was my favorite easy evolution. I'd say that would be number two. I don't I wouldn't say that's my number two. Also, another question I'm interested in. Which starter did you choose? Which like which trio starter is your favorite? I am a fan of the uh what was i saying uh, I, I like blast toys i like blast toys and squirtle i like that line for the gen one and then second ball whistle and then third is charizard and charmander never been the type of person that liked them i like him he's a good pokemon don't get me wrong if i can find him in a nuzlocke i will use him depending on what I got. Like, if you watch my current um, Nuzlocke that I'm doing, not Nuzlocke, but my current playthrough of Pokemon Insurgents, after this video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I chose the Charmander because of its typing. The Charmander in Pokemon Insurgents is a ghost dragon. Has a lot of weaknesses, yes. But I just thought that... The typing was the coolest. 
last ones was like dark fighting and then the bulbasaur one was psychic fairy which is cool i like that typing because of gardevoir but it just looked ugly i did not like the design at all we got the tough and we got the fighting energy uh, i just did not like the design at all so miss me with that i went with the chars uh charmander Blast toys i wanted to i really did maybe on the mine in the next playthrough i'll choose that one maybe but i do plan on doing a randomizer like the, it has a randomizer function in it so i might do randomizer or i might do nuzlocke and then if i do the normal nuzlocke i'm going to choose charmander i uh, not charmander sorry squirtle and other ditto So we're on our last pack now. Let's see what we can get. We got some bangers. We got the Blast Toys and the War Turtle and the Mew. And we got some alright ones, which is the Golem and the Wigglytuff. I think this is my first Wigglytuff. Come on, let's see. Can we get the God Pack? God Pack, no. Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. Oh, that's a sign, right? It's a sign. Is that a sign that we're going to get a Venusaur next? Nope. Dang. Where's the last pack magic at? It wasn't there today. But um, that's all the packs for today. But let's take a little look at what we collected. Oh, oh, everything just kind of fell. Well, so we got our two promos. I really do like these promos. They're nice. We got the metal card. And then we got the golem. We got the blast toys. We got the war turtle. We got the tough. And we got Mew. So those are a lot of those cards are my first time pulling them, which I'm pretty hyped for. Um, and yeah, that concludes it. I also have another one, but that's my wife's, so she's going to open that one, whether she does it on camera or not. If she does, look forward to it. If not, don't look forward to it. Um, but that being said, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, until next time, see you.